Please explain audible polarity. Tom in New York City writes me and says, Hey, Paul, I have a vintage Mark Levinson preamplifier, and it has a button mark polarity, which in essence is a toggle, plus or minus. What change does this button really actuate? How do I know when to push it? How do I know if my choice is correct? In a few instances, I can actually hear a difference. The music sounds tinny or scratchy and then seems modestly better if I change the setting. But in the majority of instances, I don't hear any difference whatsoever. Am I just a non-discriminating listener, tone deaf, an imposter audiophile, <laughs> and a man with a sense of humor? Thanks, Tom. No, you're, you're not. So polarity, sometimes we, we uh, miscall phase, but they're kind of the same thing. So polarity is, is flipping it out of phase. So the polarity switch would be the same thing if you were to have taken the speaker leads from your power amplifier and swapped them on the back of your speaker. So plus goes to minus, minus goes to plus. Now the polarity has swapped. And then back again, the polarity is back to plus. So that's, that's what we would call uh, positive polarity or negative polarity or in phase, out of phase. And that's what you're actually doing with that switch. What happens? Well, let's just keep it uh, so, so we understand that's what the switch does, right? When you swap polarity on your speaker cable, when uh, the initial waveform of music starts, let's say we're going to go, there's somebody hits a symbol. The very first thing you hit is a symbol. Well, if the polarity is plus, in other words, red to red, black to black, then what will typically happen is for any positive going waveform, which generally things start at zero and they go up, for, for any uh, positive going waveform, the driver, the woofer or the tweeter, is going to move forward. It's going to come out at, if it's in phase, in polarity, in proper polarity, it will, for a, for a positive going waveform, it's going to move forward. If you take that same piece of music, but you flop these around, then what was once going forward, where the driver is pushing towards you, it's now going to be doing the opposite. And, and you'll many times hear that difference. Now, while that sounds bad, we have to remember and keep in balance here that these waveforms we're talking about, whether it's moving in or out, are moving pretty fast. So, you know, you're talking about 6,000 times a second that it's moving forward and backwards. And if it starts forward or it starts backwards, once it gets going, it's a fairly steady state and you can no longer tell the difference except on the initial pulse. pulse um, and that's when you'll hear that difference. So, I am undecided about this. There's a good friend of mine, George, who we call the polarity pundit. And George is adamant that most things are recorded in the wrong polarity and that he hears differences in all of those and categorizes them. And, you know, I, I can take you upstairs to Music Room 2 and do that experiment for you and we have polarity switches on all of our products and you will hear a difference. On most tracks, on most resolving systems, you'll hear a difference. I'm still undecided why. Part of me says, well, dork, obviously, because, you know, that it's starting here as opposed to starting there. But the engineer in me says, I don't know so much about that. If the whole thing is, it's just something about that rubs me the wrong way. And it could just be that I have to pull my head out of my tuchus uh, because there's plenty of strong feelings on this, but part of me is just not buying that. The other part of me realizes that in many cases, certainly in the case of your Levinson, your, how they're flipping that phase can have a big change in circuitry. So in some cases, we have a 
a circuit that is, it's all in phase. And then if you want to take it out of phase, will we run it through an inverter? So if that's the way they're doing it, and I think in a lot of those old designs they did, they didn't have a fully balanced circuit where they could just choose one or the other. They actually inverted the wave and then ran that through. Now, if they're doing it that way, then every time you listen to the inverted signal, you're hearing it through a whole other stage of, of, of op amp or amplification, whatever they used, and that could very well have a big impact on how it sounds. So anyway, I don't have a good definitive answer for you. I, I, I don't think you're an imposter. <laughs> and I, I really appreciate the question. Thank you for asking it. And we'll talk tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.